Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm going to go do a little quick, I always say quick, a update to my uh, charcoal retort. So I ran maybe, I don't know, five or six uh, burns since I posted that video maybe a year, year and a half ago. Maybe I've done more than that. But um, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So right here, the lid's going to go on top. The gases escape from the inside and then go in there and burn, but there's always a gap around there. So what I did was I bought some of this, what do they call it, a, a blacksmith glass or blacksmith wool. It is basically, I don't know exactly what it is, but it is fireproof or very, 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 very fire resistant. They always say nothing is ever fireproof. So they give you a little knife, and it probably has some stuff that you don't want to breathe in. That's probably why they give you gloves. So I'm going to take this and take a small piece out and wrap it around right here so that when I put the lid on, it'll have somewhat of a seal just so that the, the direct fire impingement doesn't impinge on here. But the wood that I put in here was some pecan, some cherry, and a few pieces of oak. So it's gonna get a good consistent burn all over. So I made it work. I thought I might have cut it too short, but it's more of kind of stuffed in. This side is pushed up against there, so it's pinched in. This side is where the big gap is. Those are where the holes are that's gonna push all the gases from out from in the tank out through there. I'm gonna flip this as I've shown upside down onto there, and then uh, burn it tonight, see how it does tomorrow. Starting a little bit earlier today. Usually I wait till the sun's down. But I thought I'd get it going now. Just to be done. So it's pyrolyzing right now. Pyrolysis. The imperfect burn. Good hot fire down there. All this smoke here on the side is from inside the barrel. And you can smell it. It definitely smells like fruit wood. But you can see it coming up from the edges. I could probably either seal it better or just get a better design. But that's fine because it's just smoke going out and it's not reburning. Maybe that's because some of that what a blacksmith wool, whatever they call that stuff, is kind of in the way. But little by little, it's going to start burning more and more. It's probably been about an hour now. Next morning, everything is all cooled down. Warm, but not hot. I some of that fuzz fell down, so we'll see. We'll see what it does on the inside. Well, there it is, all poured out. And like always, right at the beginning, get a little bit of burn. Just douse it with some water. And it should be good, good fruit wood charcoal. So I make three piles, we'll go through it, and I pull out the stuff that is not hot or burning. There's the cherry. Solid piece of charcoal all the way through there. Kids, getting work. Kids are getting ready for school this morning, so that's what you hear in the background. But so this is the stuff that was did not have any heat on it. Uh, just kind of sit off to the side. Good crisp sound. 
good solid pieces to make some good barbecue. So for a while I thought, well, all charcoal tastes the same. It's not true. The fruit wood gives off the fruit wood fragrance that's really, really, really good, especially the cherry I like a lot. So my three piles, this is my like good to go pile. That pile is the one that I take out and I dip in the water. And this one is just kind of the pile that I just soak down with water. Had some heat over in here. Heat over there, that's a little popping sound that you hear. That one quite, has maybe uh, a good pile ready to go also. So three different piles, four if you count that one. Uh, tonight, tomorrow, I'll come and stack this up. So where it's wet, it'll kind of get off the ground. And it dries pretty quick in the Arizona sun. Charcoal really doesn't retain that much water. And it's good to go. Well, there you have it. Another successful burn, I would call it. The blacksmith wool, uh, wool glass, whatever you want to call that. Fireproof stuff. I don't think it was worth it. He's chopping. I got a chopper over here. I don't think it was worth it. Um, I just need to get a new lid, cut a, a smaller hole to make a better seal around there. Nothing's going to seal it 100% unless I flip it. I'm going to make a different design that's going to come up. But here, here is the uh, final product. On this end, this is all ready to burn. Good chunks. Some cherry, tell from the bark. And kind of also how it, how it splits open, how the grain is. Just really good good charcoal burns good burns hot I've done it my Kamado nice and long I, think I have a piece of oak in here too. here's some oak so the oak I don't know if it's got a hundred percent burn but I still use it you can see a little bit of the the wood just because of the oak is is denser than the, than the cherry Either this is oak or this is pecan. Oh, this might be the pecan, both of them, that was green. So it's going to burn, it's going to char at different intervals, but it'll still work. And there's the pile of wet stuff Daddy. that we just kind of have that'll Daddy. dry out. Daddy. Let me see, what do you have there? Oh, don't throw dirt in there. That's our charcoal. What is that? That's charcoal. That's charcoal. What do we make with charcoal? What do we make with charcoal? It's burnt charcoal. It's burnt charcoal. What do we do with it? What do we make with charcoal? It's it burnt charcoal. Burnt charcoal. Usually he's pretty good about saying meat. A couple little pieces that I thought were cool. Uh, that one right there, you must have thrown in a little piece of, uh, of wood here. Put it in your daddy. Oh, you can put it in there. I don't need it. So it's just kind of cool how it just carbonizes around it. And then another little piece. This was from a, that was from just a branch. And if you look at it, it has the little buds on it and everything. A carbon copy of a branch. Ooh, and that still has wood on the inside, interesting. And then one more last piece. I put it in there. Just I like the color Colorful. Listen to that. I guess, I guess that's the good sign of good, good charcoal. What do you think? It's good charcoal. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I should probably give a do a giveaway of like a box of charcoal. So if you'd like a giveaway of a box of charcoal. Uh, how many of box of charcoal? I don't know how many how many uh, likes or subscribes I would need. I don't know. Put some comments in there. Share this video. Like and subscribe. Have a wonderful afternoon. Adios.